Welcome back to the Stadium of Light. Sunderland have come through today's fixture against Preston North End with a 2-0 victory. It made it look easy in the end. It was pedestrian at the end of the game, but Sunderland did all the hard work in the first half. Yeah, they did indeed. Yeah, and uh, well, we were saying before the game, can we get off to a good start today? Can we get that early goal? And that was the case, wasn't it? I think maybe had that scare early on, didn't we? With uh, Anthony Patterson having to tip that one over his crossbar. But other than that, um, Preston had a bit of possession, one or two openings, um, but yeah, didn't really trouble as, as much as they would have liked. And obviously getting that setting goal right before half time as well, just took, took the stuffing out of them. And then setting off, it was a strange one, as you mentioned it there. It did feel a little bit pedestrian really, and we just kept the ball almost perhaps uncertain whether to, do we need to go and try and get that third or do we just try and keep the ball and see the game through and I think that was more of the case of that. Let's have a look back through the action then and we can discuss some of the key moments. Many of those of course were in the first half of which the Sunderland fans present this afternoon enjoyed very much. 42,714 inside the Stadium of Light here on New Year's Day. It's the early kickoff as well in the Championship so there's no other action to bring you or scores yet but I'm sure We'll have a look at the league table in good time. Just yeah. some of these early exchanges. He was busy all yeah, afternoon. Yeah, he wasn't Miller. bad. I was quite impressed with Miller. When, when he got on the ball, he was busy, bright, wanting to, to try and get at us. Obviously, Trey Human and Luke O'Neill having to come out of his slot at times to deal with situations. But um, yeah, I think if you're looking at you know in terms of giving credit, give credit to Michael Beale. Look at the changes he's made today. He made three big calls. Three he big brought in Adji Elise, Alex Pritchard, yeah, and, 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 and Naz yeah, Rusin. And two of them are on the score sheet. So yeah, big pat on the back. And you know, obviously, these lads are. Jumping at the bit really to get some game time to get into the starting 11, and you've got to take your opportunities. And both of them have done that. And you know, goals aside, I thought both put in a good shift as well. I'm saying there about Rusin, he's not the biggest, but puts himself about, doesn't he? Uh, and Alex Pritchard, he's always busy in Brighton, and there he is now with the opening goal. So he just gets himself a little pocket of space, doesn't he? he just drops in there. I said, McCann isn't sure whether to go with him or to go with Job. And then in the end, it opens up for him, centre back and, and both full back a little bit slow and don't really want to come and press him but give him credit, gets his head down, puts his laces through it and just enough cut on it to send it away from Woodman in goal and lovely strike isn't it I think and it's, I'm sure it's his first goal of the season. It's an absolute it's beauty as well and it really adds to the fact that he's contributed in, in the recent fixtures he's played in. Yeah. He had a brief, he was missing for a brief game wasn't he with illness but you know yeah. those games against West Brom and Leeds he was influential with assists. He came off the bench as well against Rotherham. Rotherham yeah, and put the ball in, didn't he? Yep. Keep it come out, punched it, led to the goal. Yeah, so always involved, always busy, always bright. Um, you know, he's, he's the senior player in the team, isn't he, at this moment in time? Obviously, Corey's still out injured. You've got Luke back there, but with a young squad, as we know. Uh, but he steps up, doesn't he? Grabs the game by the scruff of the neck at times and, and wants to go out there and he wants to win. He enjoys, I think he enjoys playing for Sunderland when he's out there. Um, I'd say one or two moments, didn't we? It was Frockier, really, who had their two big chances in similar situations. That one, he goes with the side foot. I think maybe go with Laces, try and get over the top of the ball. Uh, blazes that one over. And then another one just after this one here. He yeah. does go Laces on the half volley. Catches it quite clean, actually, but it's always on the rise, isn't it? And up and over the top. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a frustrating bus journey back for, for Ryan Lowe, wasn't it? They huffed and puffed a lot of the time there, but didn't really... So in that setting off, get that clear cut opportunity. Either did they pots had one at the far post, didn't they? Later on, um, but yeah, it's all, all about us today, isn't it? Clean sheet for the boys at the back. You know, talk about individuals. He's but the second goal. Yeah, just get onto the second Comes one first Anthony before Patterson. we go through the team. But yeah, Patson could have slowed it down there, couldn't he? You know, coming up to half time, one 0 but he doesn't. He sees Jack, throws it out to him there. Jack goes past a couple of players. Story is the the centre back comes across, and he just gets enough on him. And it's good movement from Rusin, but as I said, Lindsay will be disappointed when he sees that back. He doesn't move his feet, doesn't open his body up to, to know where Rusin is, but he gets there. It's a proper striker's poacher's finish, isn't it, really? Almost as toe poke through outside of the boot. You see it from this angle now, just gets across him, paces on the cross, and just guides it past the goalkeeper. And that's what Sunderland have been delighted. missing in recent weeks yeah. and months, even as well. There's someone getting in that position ahead of the, the defender, yeah. first to contact it. Yeah, well, I want to know fans might say well playing strikers that's going to happen but I think we have been putting those types of balls in and it's been crying out for somebody to, to get on the end of that type of, of ball really we, we don't see that many types of goals from us do we as a team um, you know those little scruff, not scruffy ones those little poetry ones just six yard line ball coming across and getting across the centre half uh, we haven't seen many of them at all this season so hopefully now we can kick on and he can get a bit of confidence from that and, uh, and he can go again yeah, it's looking back at some more of these moments Anthony Patterson Playing his part this afternoon. I mean, definitely in the second half. You know, 
he didn't really feel at any point that Preston were going to. No, I just said it was pops down this right hand side, wasn't he? Getting forward from right back, getting a little bit of space time and time again, and, and Miller on the other side as well. Uh, they were their two biggest outlets, really, in terms of getting balls into the box. Yeah, this one here was Osmajic off the bench, wasn't it? We weren't sure that it was a little coming together with himself and Luke 09. I'm not sure where the contact is there. I think he's looking for it. Um, there was one just before that, actually, wasn't there, where Luke played it back to Anthony Patterson and there was a bit of a coming together as well. And, th and this one there, there. Yeah, I think he just gets a block on it, really, doesn't yeah. he? And then chance on the counter-attack. Um, but, yeah, I think the game almost fizzled out towards the end as well. You see the ball go up, they've made changes, we've made changes. Four minutes, I think, stoppage time, wasn't there, coming on to it. Um, just having a look, they had Miller on his left foot this time, lovely ball in, and then Potts, this was on I was on about. Those two really were their main threat going forward, and he sees it all the way, Potts, but then just allows it on the half volley watch, and then it's more sort of off the ankle, I think, and up and over the top. So yeah. some effort if it, that was to go in from there. Yeah, it but, been, yeah. but again, just shows that the threat that was coming from the flanks, really, it was the players in the middle and perhaps let them down. The chair yeah, yeah, the so Keane who yeah, came on. made changes at the top end of the pitch, didn't they? Uh, Reese as well, I think, was come on as well. Um, but yeah, just in the, in the highlights there before we looked at the, um, the second goal, really, I was going to say individuals. I thought Luke was outstanding at the back. Um, composure, red situations really well up against Chad Evans, seen him off. And then the lads who come on as well, Dan Ballard again, big and strong next to him. Um, so yeah, some good individual performances. Pierre as well at times. I thought Pierre was good today, not just on the ball, but breaking play up, reading yeah, situations, lot, he? Yeah. cutting passes out four or five times today. So so excellent. And then obviously, top end of the pitch, Rusin. Be delighted tonight, and I'm sure the coaching staff will be as well. Um, what should we do next? Let's have a look at the league table, shall we? Because there's no other games around, so we can't look at any results at the moment. But look, we're back in the playoffs. Well, we are, yeah, and obviously played a game more than everyone else with the early kickoff, but we're there. So it's up to the other teams now to, to go out and perform this afternoon and, and try and get back on top of us. But it's a tight pack, isn't it? And we're right amongst it. Um, you know, Leeds there, so on, what, 45 points, five points behind them. Still a lot of games to play, isn't there? So we keep on going, but it's a good start to the year. Great start. Let's have a look at your thoughts around the world then on the hashtags. Uh, we're just waiting for the first one to appear because you have been in touch. Using the old hashtag. It's Jeff who says, starting Pritchard, do we agree this is a must from now on? He had a huge impact, as he often does. Thanks, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, well, it's always easy to ask that question, Jeff, after the game when he's smacked one in from 25 <laughs> yards, isn't it? But no, I, I know what he's saying, yeah. And having a pack, have an impact as a, you know, he comes off the bench. And I know some people sometimes say, is he better coming off the bench and he can have an influence on the game then? But he won't want to be known as a, a sub coming off the bench. He wants no. to start games and he'll feel he's earned that. You know, in recent weeks when he's when he's played, he's, he's had an impact. He's, he's had a few assists. He called the and game changer the in game recent changer. weeks. He's yeah. the, he's the uh, what but he's, you know, he'll, match he'll winner. No. Starting games and what's that? 25 yards out, no pressure on him. Bang, lovely strike. There it is again, just have a look at it back. Just as I say there, keep an eye on McCann. He actually starts coming towards him and then no change his mind, goes across to Job and that just allows that space. Uh, should Pierre the centre half have him. stepped up a bit there? Yeah, I think I think the six can go out to him and I think the full back as well comes across and sort of look just dangles a bit of a leg, doesn't he? Instead of really coming and putting pressure on him. Lindsay and um, Hughes. So they'll they'll obviously see it back and they'll be regretting that. Um, not to come in to come in and say get a little bit tighter to him and then no chance for Woodman because he's cut across with Alex Pritchard. It's always going away from him. Bottom corner, lovely strike, isn't it? Um, but yeah, not just his goal. I think his overall influence and his and his impact on the side as well when he's out there. As I say, he's not the captain, but he sort of leads from the front, doesn't he? You know, he's got Job up there, who's a, who's a young lad, either side of him. Um, you know, Jack on that left hand side, um, and and Rusin as well. Um, I don't think his English is too good either, so I'm not sure what the communication's like between them when they're out on the pitch. But he just gets people organised and he, he drags us up the pitch. He wants to go and press high as well, and he puts a real shift in. He certainly does. Let's have a look at another thought then. We've got a couple more before we run out of time. Uh, this one says, 2-0 and a clean sheet, but did they rest up second half or are they just tired? We, we mentioned both those points. Yeah, we did. Yeah, well, only the players know, don't they? I think sometimes, yeah, you're looking up at that. We've had a lot of games in recent weeks. Say, pitches are getting a little bit heavier now as well uh, with the weather. Uh, and then, you know, obviously, you've got that focus on the big game coming at the weekend as well next week. Um, so the, game, the damage was done. But it's always that 2-0, it's that dodgy scoreline really, isn't it? Where you've got that cushion and then all of a sudden if you do concede, it's like, oh, it's going to be a little bit nervy now for the last, well, however long's left. 
Um, but we didn't. I say, looking at the highlights, they had they had a bit of ball coming into the box. Didn't have to make too many saves, did he, Anthony Patterson, throughout the 90 no. minutes. Um, but could we have kicked on? I think we had another gear or two in us. Say Jack didn't see too much of the ball in that second half going forward, uh, and we almost yeah probably played within ourselves. And it felt like that in the ground. The atmosphere was like, well, the game feels like it's won now. Yeah, and it was almost a bit like a testimonial game really at times wasn't it in terms of that that setting off with the with the possession really a little bit loose I said it on comms I thought we could have been a bit tidier on the ball um, just see the game through and manage the game look after the ball but the damage was done 2-0 and uh, yeah clean sheet as well as I mentioned there um, and they deserve that the boys at the back the two centre backs especially let's have a look at another thought then and the final thought Loza Lauren you've been in touch thoughts on the lineup for the derby on Saturday Oof. Give us a breather, Lauren. Let's, have, <laughs> let's get this one out of the way. And uh, well, you know, I think from from Michael Beale's point of view, he'll want to see who's uh, who's fit. Um, you know, Aji again, seventy odd minutes under his belt, done really well, yeah. didn't he? Um, he'll, he'll weigh things up over the next couple of days. Does Reese uh, get a start because of his goal this afternoon? Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, why not keep him in there? You know, if, as you said there, will it start? You know, more goals come now. Well strikers feed on confidence from putting the ball in the back of the net don't they so I'm sure he'll be out there next week be some atmosphere in here I think they've got 6,000 coming haven't they to the stadium alight or so um, and it's a big one I think we were chatting before the game I think the pressure in a way is on Newcastle you know they're obviously the Premier League side been in Europe this season etc and coming here so they're almost expected to win aren't they really but not from our fans point of view so at the same time it's not a free hit um, but you know, I've played in a few of these. It's what it's all about as a footballer against your local rivals uh, at the stadium. I like to be packed out next week. Some atmosphere in here, and uh, can the lads turn them over? Let's hope so. Go and make names but for themselves. I'm, you not know? Na- I'm not naming a starting eleven. No. You I'll, leave, I'll leave, that the, uh, leave that to the coaches. Maybe staff, do yeah. that next week yeah. when we're back on air. To 12:45 kickoff against Newcastle United in the FA Cup. We'll be back here for that one. I'm sure you will be as well. Have a good week.